With Advisor's visual discovery software, a business person can easily display 5, 10, 20, or even 100 or more metrics from one or more data tables. Being able to display many metrics is great for navigation and exploration. However, for correlation, a human being can only grasp patterns across 5, 10, or maybe 15 different things. That's where predictive analytics comes in. It uses math to determine causal factors behind something you've selected that complements what you see visually. Let's see how it works. In this case, we're working with the same data set uh, that we've shown in several of the other short videos. It's a, a set of roughly 10,000 customers comprising $496 million over the last year, and here's the list of all the customers. We've run a campaign against those customers, and uh, the yes uh, responders were 10.2% and 90% did not respond to the campaign. Uh, we've looked at them by region, and so 41% um, or 203 million dollars came from the west region, a smaller amount from the south, and so forth. So this this customer base is skewed towards the west. By industry, the biggest industry is finance and insurance, comprised 16% of the total 496 million dollars of revenue. Uh, so that was they, they comprised 76 million out of the 496. We've also taken the customers and we spread them from low to high revenue and low to high margin. So this quadrant up here are the customers, and the dots, each dot represents a customer that have uh, high margin um, but low revenue, and they're colored by region. So the blue uh, customer up here would be one in the east, the, uh, the gold is one in the south, and so forth. Uh, what we're trying to do is understand uh, from the campaign how to take the high margin accounts with lower revenue and drive them to the right so they have higher revenue. That was the purpose of this campaign. So we want to explore the high margin low revenue accounts who responded yes to the campaign. So to do that, first we've got to select the high margin low revenue accounts. So we sweep over them on the scatter plot with the mouse. We grab the accounts that are roughly 15% or more in margin and under $120,000 in revenue over this period. That's roughly 1,400 accounts. Now let's we're going to set the selection so we intersect select with the yes responders. So now I'm looking at the yes responders in that high margin lower revenue category. Here they are. There's roughly 130 or so accounts. Uh, and uh, I can drop down uh, to just look at those. I see they're skewed towards the east, which is you know different than my overall population. It's skewed towards the west. Here the east comprises 55% of the revenue in this group, the government industry. So this is a very different profile than my overall population. Let's bring it back. And I'm going to create a bookmark up here so I can come back to this state later on. I'm going to call this high margin low rev responders. So I've seen visually this data skewed towards the east and, and the government industry. But what else matters? If I'm trying to profile these accounts and take action on them, uh, what, what, what else would I need to know? Let's run some predictive analytics. I go to my task view. I go down to analyze data, click predictive modeling. Opens up a pane. And I'm going to now run a new model. So I click new model. I'm going to name the model high revenue, low margin responders. I'm going to then um, put, make sure it's on the right table, the customers table. I can then target any of the fields that came in with the data, or I can target what I've selected visually, which is what I want to do, the intersection, intersection of the high margin, low revenue customers who responded to my campaign. All of the columns are possible explanatory variables for this. I need to take off the things I've selected, or the model will tell me that's what's determining the subset. So I need to go down and take off response to the gold bundle campaign. I need to take off margin. I need to take off revenue. So I click OK. I'm now going to run a multivariant regression model against this selected data. And this is algorithms. It's VAPNIC algorithms from a French company, KXEN, which we've OEM'd into our product. It's rich multivariant regression. It runs uh, a test model behind the scenes to validate uh, that the data is uh, complete enough. And then it runs a full model and comes back with the results. Two little indicators. Is there enough information? Are there enough rows of data? Yes, there are. Uh, are there enough dimensions to properly model this? Yes, there are. So the factors that came back with City explains 32.8% of this population. And it's uh, Albuquerque and Bronx and Brooklyn, New York. So I've got you know one in the west, a couple in the east, followed by Baltimore, St. Louis, and then there's some cities down here with uh, all these have negative impact. So these are the ones with positive impact. All of these have negative impact. I can see the impact of city uh, as a factor by itself by just selecting it here. I'll see it over here. So if I select that city, uh, put it back on replace selection, select the city, 
and I can see over here uh, that it is fairly well explaining it by itself, but there's clearly other factors. Let's go back to the bookmark, go back to the, uh, the original selection, and now let's look at some of the other factors. Uh, the platinum credit card explains 8.9% of this population, and if um, they responded, if they've bought this platinum credit card, they're likely to be in this category. If not, uh, they're not likely to be. Uh, company size and number of employees came in third. And scrolling over this, it looks like 93 to 197 is a positive correlation, 1 to 92. So the smaller companies are generally in this sector. It looks like the bigger companies aren't. So that's, a, that's an insight I hadn't even thought of before. Uh, so let's actually look at uh, company size. Uh, maybe that's a factor I want to bring up. Um, and as I go through this, that's the kind of thing you would do. So let's uh, modify the dashboard and bring up another factor. So I'm going to bring up a bar chart. I'm going to tile it on the bottom here, put the bar chart on the table customers, put the field on uh, customer ID, and I'm going to size it uh, by the employees. And uh, so now I have a, a, the set of customers. Here's all my customers and the selected ones. Uh, it's a little hard to see with the WebEx here, but uh, there tend to be the smaller customers down in here. And I can now exclude um, everything that's not in this category and drop down. And here are you know, the profile by company size of my uh, high margin, low revenue responders to the campaign. There's a handful of bigger customers, over 750 employees who are in the West, but then it drops off precipitously. And everything in the East, the, the Midwest, and so forth are these, these smaller customers. And they're generally you know, under... Uh, this is 200 employees right about here, then it drops off precipitously, and there's a lot of, you know, 50, 25-person companies in here. So this, this campaign uh, has uh, been responded to primarily by small companies in a few industries in the East. Um, this actually may not have been the kind of campaign I wanted to run if that was the impact of it, so I've learned something about this campaign. Um, and, and this is maybe something I never would have even thought of looking at visually. Now that I have this model, there's a couple of things I can do with it. I've obviously got the factors out of it. I can look at the other dimensions like I have here. I've got a better uh, characteristic description of uh, my population of these high margin, low revenue, yes responders. I also have a model. So if I have another, uh, maybe another region where I haven't run this campaign, I'm trying to predict response to the campaign, I can bring that data in and um, um, score uh, I can run, uh, I could predict against that and it will score the data set I brought in as to its propensity to be in this quadrant. Now obviously I also now have a list of customers. Let's go back to the prime dashboard here. So I can export this list to a mail engine, a campaign engine and take action on it. So I've kind of gone full cycle here from bringing in uh, and looking at my customer base uh, and then trying to understand visually and then with multivariate regression what mattered to this campaign I was running. I have some insights. I can now use this uh, on another data set and, uh, and follow up that way. Uh, thank you very much for your time and attention.